We use Miller indices to describe directions in unit cell structures uh, when we're talking about crystal structures. When we're dealing with a rectilinear shape, the um, Cartesian coordinate system is sufficient for describing this, and we can use just three coordinates. When we start talking about hexagonal close-packed cell structures, though, it becomes difficult to uh, use integer values when describing those vector unit directions because of the shape of a hexagon. So instead, a four uh, four axis coordinate system is used. So let's take a look at a HCP structure. So you can see here that we've got a vector direction drawn inside of our box and that's what we're trying to we're going to try and calculate here. The um, the coordinate system that we've drawn here has three axes on what's called the basal plane or essentially you could sort of think of it as the ground and they're each uh, 120 degrees to each other and then there is the z-axis which is perpendicular to all three plane uh, all three axes okay so what we're gonna do is uh, to determine this first we'll have a three coordinate indices that we'll create and then we'll convert that into four um, four axes. To do this we'll ignore A3 and describe the direction of this vector using only A1, A2, and Z. So let's go and do that. Okay, so you can see the vector that's been drawn uh, in in this drawing and we have to travel only in the A1 and A2 directions and describe um, the direction from the tail to the tip okay and there are two ways I could go about this but it makes sense to me at least to start going in the A1 direction and then go in the A2 direction okay and to achieve this I'm gonna go this way like this right out to the tip there and then I'll go this way okay so I traveled in the negative a1 direction and then I traveled in the negative a2 direction and then looking over here this is uh, not quite accurately drawn but this tip of this vector is supposed to be halfway up C Okay, so notice that I'm talking about this in terms of its unit lengths, where this is A, the length of one of the sides, and this is C. And with the hexagonal closed pack structure, A is not equal to C. Okay, so let's write this in terms of its unit lengths first. So we went negative A and then we went negative A and then we went C over 2. So negative A, negative A, C over 2. Okay, and now we'll convert this into unit values. So remember that A is 1. Just like if we were doing a unit circle, we consider R to be 1. That's the same principle applied here. So this is negative 1 negative one and one half okay and now this is an important step before we move on to plugging this into these equations we need to reduce this to its simplest integer form okay so this ends up being negative two because I have to multiply everything by two negative two and then this will become one okay and this now, we're going to use this to convert to a four axis or a Miller Brave indice. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Um, and so uh, the final 
uh, vector uh, directions will be u, v, t, and w. So we'll equate this with u prime, v prime, and w prime. And then we'll uh, plug into these equations. Also, don't forget that when we're dealing with a direction, like a vector, that we enclose our answers in brackets. And typically, these commas will not be in there either. I'll get rid of those at the end. Um, and if we're doing a plane, then we would use regular old parentheses. OK, so let's just go through and start solving uh, for each of the directions now. u equals 1 third, oops, 1 third of 2 times u prime. That's 2 times negative 2, that's negative 4, minus v prime, minus negative 2. Okay, and that's 4 plus 2, or minus 4 plus 2, that's minus 2, and so this is negative 2 thirds. v prime, or v, equals 1 third of 2 times v prime, which is exactly the same. And if you do this out, you'll see that you get the exact same values. So this one will also equal negative 2 thirds. OK, t equals the negative of u plus v. Now that's this u and this v, not these ones up here. So this is minus 2 thirds, minus 2 thirds. And that equals negative 4 thirds in the parentheses times the negative is positive. So this is 4 thirds. And the final one is the easiest because w just equals w prime. And so w equals 1. OK, now let's collect this together in our square brackets. Negative 2 thirds, negative 2 thirds, 4 thirds and 1. Now we need to again reduce this into its lowest integer form and we're lucky because we have the same denominator across the board so we'll just multiply everything by 3. This will become negative 2, negative 2, uh, uh, 3, 4, 12, this is 4, and this is 3. But we're not done yet, because remember that to put this in its correct form, negative values just have a 2 bar over them, a bar over them. So 2 bar, 2 bar, 4, 3. And that's our answer. OK? So that process uh, should work for you every time.